Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm Allie, if you're new here, and we live off grid in this little cabin in the woods. I'm just gonna do a little, you know, day in the life again. Our morning routine here, it's not much of a routine, but I make coffee and trying to start journaling. I got a five minute journal. The Earthling Co, which I work with, I've almost worked with them a year. This month will be a year. I sent me a little goodie box and it has like another journal in it that's like an intention journal. I feel like it came at the perfect time because, I don't know, I've just been like, not struck, you know, it's just been, a rough couple of days <laughs> in my journaling i realized that like since we've had roan like we've had no sense of normalcy at all really because we traveled all summer long we've been traveling every single just about every single weekend since he was probably like two months old so he's now seven months old and life is going to slow down fall is starting all the weddings are over. We had six weddings this summer. We have one more left in December, but like we just get to be home and I don't have something to like plan for, pack for, unpack. Like I just need to, me, Roan and Dylan can like start our own routine now, like start our own, like what is life going to be like for us? Because we haven't been able to do that yet so i am super excited for that another thing i've been struggling with is i have been doing like all my work in the coffee shop you know because that's where i get internet i do all my work in the coffee shop because i get internet there and i love it there well ron is now vocal and mobile and i don't get anything accomplished so i'm like really craving <laughs> some alone time just to get work done like I just need like two hours to get work done and it's so hard because Dylan works all day and so when he gets home like I plan on doing things once he gets home so he can watch the baby but I just want to spend time together like we make dinner we go for a walk and then uh, we watch Jeopardy and then the day's basically over and by then I'm like done I don't want to I don't want to do anything else it's getting dark so it's been hard and we haven't had any free weekends, and so now we do. And so I have to figure out a work schedule that's gonna work for me and work for Dylan and work for Roan because I just need a couple hours to myself to accomplish things without a baby. Sorry, Roni. And it's hard because we have no family here, don't know that many people, so we're just trying to figure it all out. Life's changing quick. Yeah, that's what I've reflected on. Ron's getting his top two teeth, and they've honestly been killing us. He's a very independent baby. Like, he loves just playing by himself up until, like, a week ago. <laughs> he cannot be sat down. So there's been a lot of holding going on. So I, like, really want to feel inspired again. I feel like I haven't been really inspired recently. One thing that I have felt some drive to do is, like, 
make every part of our home work for us. We live in a really small space and I just want to like go through every corner and like if we don't use it, get rid of it. If we haven't used it since we've lived here, get rid of it. Make our space work for us. Another thing that I really, really want to do is get our yard and our landscaping underway. It's a mess out there. I just want it to feel like home. Like I want to have fences and a garden and it to feel beautiful and special. And so this weekend we're going to work on that. Because right now it's literally, it's been abandoned. Is that baby wrong? Is that baby wrong? This kid goes insane for food. Wild. So we mostly, well, we just do whatever I'm in the mood for, basically. If we do baby led weaning, but we also do like, this is like a puree from Kroger. Because you don't always got time or energy to do it all. We can't do it all, right, Mr. Room? I'm like, sometimes I let him get really messy and feed himself. And sometimes you don't have the capacity to do that. <laughs> We've also hit the part in motherhood where you realize you have to make three meals a day for the rest of your life. It's not a bad thing. It's just big realization. Every three hours, you're going to have to make a new meal. So I learned this yesterday. Ready? Bye! Good job, buddy. Bye! So this is basically our first winter because, like with Rome, and it's pretty cold now, so I need to heat up the bathroom. We'll heat up the bathroom before the bath. We've got like a makeshift shower curtain here because you haven't heard our papa tub was coated in lead paint. So that's great with the baby. Anyways, we're gonna redo the bathroom whenever we add on to the back. So we're just like dealing with it for now. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. I wanted to show you guys. So I went to Ulta, like the makeup store and got all new makeup because my makeup had been from like 12th grade. Like I've had it forever. And I just wanted new makeup. I cleaned out the bathroom. I've been going through like each part of the house and trying to like clean it out. So I went through everything in the bathroom, got rid of everything that we haven't used. And so I was just like replacing stuff that I needed, but I was still using the really old stuff. And I freaking love it. So I went in the Ulta store and I found a person. I was like, can someone help me like find makeup for my face? Like that's what I wanted. Just a couple things that I use every day and I'm gonna put it on and show you guys. And so far I literally love everything she suggested and she gave me like the drugstore brand of everything, which is amazing because it was not that expensive. So first I just wanted a like, I said like a tinted moisturizer, just like something simple to put on my face. And she recommended this e.l.f. Um, camo CC cream, color correcting, full coverage, natural finish, and it has sunscreen in it. So, so far I freaking love it. I just put a little bit and I just put on my face. I'm like not a makeup girl. I don't buy a bunch of makeup. I don't put on a bunch of makeup. But I just wanted something simple to make me feel good. And I just put it on with my hands. <laughs> so then I just wanted something to like contour. And so this is the NYX Wonder Stick. NYX Wonder Stick. And it has like a contour and highlight. And this is in the shade Universal Light. I mean, this is in the shade Universal Light. So there's the bronzer and I just put it like here, right here, here, right here, and sometimes under my chin if I'm doing pictures but like I'm not doing anything today so no sense in going ham. I want to get a new like brush for like dabbing my face because I don't really have one but at this sponge so we'll dab 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 dab. I need to do a bunch of stuff for like companies, so like the Earthling Co I was talking about, I have a post due for them and then I'm working with that laundry brand that I talked about in my last video. 
and I need to get on it. It's so hard though when I'm home alone with the baby because he needs to be quiet. <laughs> I need to film, I need to do voiceovers, I need good lighting, I need to put my makeup on. Okay, I just turned on my ring light so that you guys can see better. So I just have a bronzer and a CC cream. I got this blush stick in the color Cottage from Styx. I went with like all cream stuff this time, which I've never done. Also haven't brought, bought <laughs> new makeup in literally years, so I'm not kidding. And then the other side of that contour stick is highlighter. And then for my eyebrows, I just use this NYX eyebrow pencil, like I'm not picky about anything. And I just fill them in. I'm running out of time here. Throwing in the bathtub. I also got the little like travel thing of the contour by Tarte, the shape tape, but that's that's only on special occasions, you know. Curl my eyelashes. Sometimes I'll use that brown eyebrow pencil as eyeliner also kind of into brown eyeliner now it's not like so harsh and I still use my Arbonne mascara because I love it and I don't know if I will ever leave it out fault I always get a big dab of mascara on my face so that's just like really simple makeup and then since I didn't use like any powder Sometimes I'll go over the blush with my blush and highlighter. This is my blush, but it's old. It's also Arbonne. Like that. This is also Arbonne. Are you having fun? All right, so that's basically it for my face. Hopefully it looks decent. And then I'm just gonna put some dry shampoo in. This is from the Earthling Co. So if you follow me on Instagram, this is what you see. And I love it. Dump it in like that. And then I will. Hi, buddy. Just like, you know, give it a zhuzh. Let it soak in. Soak up all those oils. And that's really it. So anyways, now I can go record some stuff and not look like trash. <sighs> All right, now it's nap time. Yes, it's nap time. Oh, the buddy. The baby is down. I feel good. I'm gonna get some work done. I'm gonna get some work done. I've been putting all this stuff off for so long. And I'm gonna go get it done. Yeah. Okay, it's been probably about four hours. <laughs> so he went down for a nap, got him to sleep, laid him down, woke up like 20 minutes later. We played. I got some work done and then our internet really isn't working. When I say internet, I mean on my, our phone service. Like some days it'll work, some days it won't. And so today was the day it wasn't working. So when we were going down for a second nap, I put him in the car, drove, he fell asleep and I sat at the top of the hill where I get service and for about an hour and uploaded all the work that I did. So that's where we're at. I'm starving, I have not eaten yet today, so I'm gonna make a little sandwich, and then we will probably call it quits for this vlog because I always make them way too long. Here we go. I recently just put these magnets on the fridge real low so that I could get like a split second to change my clothes here and there. I'm so glad it's fall because it's kind of finally cold enough to use the oven. So I got this piece of bread I'm gonna make a little Sammy. Okay, I need major help. So our oven, this has been broken for so long, does anyone know how to fix it? Sorry, this lighting is terrible. 
Does anyone know how to fix it? It's not the battery, but the igniter won't work on any of the knobs in the oven. So to light the oven, I literally have to do this. I have to get under the oven, <laughs> into the broiler, <laughs> turn on the pilot, take a lighter, light the pilot, and get the propane running. I did that nine months pregnant. If anyone knows how to fix that in a propane stove, it's not the battery, let me know. All right, I just have pesto, mozzarella balls, and some tomatoes, and bread. That's what I'm gonna put on it. Mm -hmm. 